Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to do things a little bit differently this morning and just spend the whole show talking with clinical psychologist Dr. Stephen Ragusia. Now, with over 30 years of expertise and a wide range of mental health matters, Dr. Ragusia is one of the most experienced and professionally recognized psychologists here in the Keys. He's been on the show a number of times. We've talked about everything from anxiety and depression to the impact of divorce on children, even covered psychotic killers. This morning, we're going to focus on self-actualization. This refers to fulfilling one's individual potential. Dr. Ragusia, thank you for being on the show with me today. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, Dr. Ragusia, we have all heard the term self-actualization, but where exactly does this term come from? Well, it's an interesting story, actually. Um, let's go back and look at the origins of psychology, first of all. You know, for, for most of human history, there was no really concept of psychology or a psychologist. Mm -hmm. You know, the only way you could learn about how human beings function was by reading Shakespeare. Um, you know, Shakespeare certainly studied psychology mm -hmm. and talked about it in his plays, but not in a scientific way, the way we do now. Um, and what happened was that um, in the uh, 1800s, a group of physicians started to coalesce on trying to help people who were suffering from what we would now call psychological problems. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, there were some psychologists working as researchers in universities, but they were pretty much working with laboratory animals like rats and monkeys and things like that. And um, uh, so it was just the very early days. And what one guy did, named Sigmund Freud, mm -hmm. uh, was he had this idea that he would study people and then write down what he learned in books. And uh, Freud wound up publishing something like 30 volumes, very, 30 big volumes of his studies, and uh, really changed the way we have thought about ourselves ever since. Mm -hmm. Freud was brilliant. Uh, had enormous insights that nobody had ever come close to before. Um, now, a lot of what he wrote turned out not to be true, turned out to be mistaken, but they were leaps forward by any stretch of the imagination, and it, it uh, certainly broke ground. Um, but what Freud did was he studied his patients, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, who were his patients? And that is people who came in sick, okay? People who came in with psychological problems. Okay. And what he did was he wrote about people based upon that sample of humanity that he was studying. Mm -hmm. So what he was writing about was sick people. Okay? So he wasn't writing about people who were so-called healthy. That's right, exactly. <laughs> okay. and, but he didn't get it. Mm -hmm. what he, he thought he was just writing about people in general mm -hmm. as opposed to sick people. Okay? Okay. And that model of pathology as um, an expression of the inherent nature of human beings stuck with us in various ways up until the 1950s. Mm -hmm. And then a group came up that were referred to as third force psychologists. Mm -hmm. And that included people like Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow. Mm -hmm. and, and Maslow had a whole bunch of groundbreaking ideas all of his own and that included the concept of self-actualization. Okay. Um, so he's, he's kind of the one then who is the model that we look at today, the, created the model. Well, he was, yes, he kicked mm -hmm. it off, that's mm -hmm. right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, a lot of what Maslow did, um, uh, unfortunately, sort of stopped when he died in 1970. He lived from uh, 1908 to 1970, and he was a professor at Brandeis University. Very wise man. And um, because the kind of thing he was studying didn't lend itself to easy scientific research, a lot of it was abandoned after his death, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate, I think. But the concepts linger with us and guide us today. And I think they're very important, which is why when you said to me, let's talk about something positive mm -hmm. next time, I thought of Maslow and self-actualization. You chose this topic. Well, we're going to talk much more about this when we get back from this commercial break, so please stay with us. 